The hands and the arms tell us a lot about what a poker player is thinking or feeling. When they're strong, when they're confident, they take up more territory. So you'll see the elbows are further out. All of a sudden, they realize, oh, I went from a great hand to a rag hand, and the shoulders are tucked in. The hands do the same thing. When we're confident, we tend to hold our, our hands out very strongly and so forth. When we lack confidence, they tend to be more meek. When we're struggling with things and we pacify, we use our hands, we rub them against each other, sometimes we wring our hands and so forth. This is indicative of some small amount of stress. But when things really bother us, when things are really troubling, we save this behavior in particular. We intertwine our fingers and we rub them this way. So a player all of a sudden goes from looking at his whole cards to looking at the community cards and you see him doing this. Marginal or weak, most likely weak. Now that's their perception. They're struggling with something and we know it because they're interlacing their fingertips. When we feel confident, we'll interlace our fingers and put them behind our back are in the back of the head and so the elbows are out. And this looks like the hooding effect. Uh, when you see, for instance, a cobra hoods, it claims a lot of territory. When we're strong, we'll interlace those fingers, put them behind our head and hold those elbows out. And we can do that for a very long time. But when we lack confidence, we can't do it at all. And when we try it, we fail. So look for this behavior because a lot of times you'll see a player who all of a sudden feels very strong and you see the elbows are out, interlaced fingers behind the head, very strong, very confident. Now I talked about rubbing the hands to indicate that we are lacking confidence or we're under stress. But we also have behaviors of the hand that indicate confidence and steepling is one of them. Steepling like a church steeple is the most powerful behavior we have. And you often see, often see uh, public speakers steepling as they're uh, talking. This is a great sign that they feel very confident. So a player looks at his cards, all of a sudden steeples, maybe recovers from it. Good sign, powerful sign that they're very confident about what they're seeing. Conversely, when they go from steepling and all of a sudden now they're wringing their hands, then they're not as confident. Something has changed on the board and it's reflected in the hands. The other thing that we can look uh, for the hands for is any kind of pacifiers. When people are struggling with something, they're dealing with something, they're stressed, you'll see them pulling on their fingers, you'll see them playing with their rings, you'll see them massaging their hands all to deal with uh, the stress of the moment. Look for the arms and the hands to come together when the person feels weak and watch them to expand and become more territorial when the person feels comfortable and confident and strong.